Here's a little update to my toy Axial Flux wind turbine. Like everything else, when you work on something, it gets out of hand. The small wind turbine gets to be a little bigger, and then you want it to be even bigger still. So this is where I'm at now. This is a ceiling fan motor cover that I have from before. This is a 5 inch rod and this is a 7 inch saw plate and some magnets I had from before. And this is just some coils I wound just I'm putting it in just to see how it might work. Um, there is another bearing in the middle here. I was afraid that if I were to use just this front bearing here, this ceiling fan cover might wobble a little bit in the wind. So I added this bearing in the middle there to make it a little sturdier. So this setup spins very well. The only thing is, I have to decide what kind of coils to make. I made some coils before with 22 gauge wires, just 6 coils, but that didn't work out well. I couldn't get enough voltage uh, out of it. So I had wound some other coils. So far I have wound two. This is 32 gauge wire. and maybe. I can wind just six coils and make a stator and put it in the back like this. Single plate rotor instead of a dual axial flux. Uh, that would simplify things a little bit and would stick to my toy configuration instead of something that can really generate some power. The difficulties with this kind of thing is of course the magnets are uh, very expensive, coils, the wires, they're, they're kind of expensive. That's why I don't want to go too big. I have a 10 inch blade here. I was even thinking of using this as a magnet plate. But then everything would have to be scaled up and then that, that would present a problem. But for something small and six coils it might it might work it might light up a few LEDs and this I all I have to do is add some uh, blades to the front it could be wood it could be a vinyl it could be anything this uh, stator and magnet plate here is, is very sturdy let me show you what I had before as the stator this is the stator for that windmill. This is 6 coil, 22 gauge wire, but it never gave enough voltage. So this is the new setup. So imagine this is the front of the windmill. So this is how it would spin and of course all I have to do is add a pivot and then a tail and propel us to the front and that would be it because there's no iron core this would spin easily but of course without the iron you, your output would be limited. So this is where I'm at. It's very tedious winding the coils. I'm not very good at doing that. And then I have to get some resin for the stator. So hopefully by winter comes I'll get this finished. Alright, thanks for watching.